More than 300,000 new taunts are now fully vaccinated, and those numbers are only going to increase with the new eligibility requirements for the vaccine. Newsline reporter Sierra Isasaga is live in Utah County. Sierra, what are the new requirements and who do they affect? That's right. The new eligibility requirements include those older than 50 and anyone who is 16 years or older with certain medical conditions. Among those who can now receive the vaccine is Jenny Livingston. Jenny was born with cystic fibrosis, a disease which affects the respiratory and digestive systems. Thankfully, though, when growing up, Jenny was relatively healthy, even with her cystic fibrosis. But unfortunately, as I got older, as often happens with CF, I became sicker. And any time I would catch a cold, I would end up in the hospital for at least two weeks. With COVID, um, of course, that's scary. Since COVID, Jenny has spent the majority of her time at home trying to protect herself. My health and this body is like my entire life's work. You know, it takes so much to live through all that CF has thrown at me. Health has been something Jenny has been very conscious of long before COVID. And now with this virus so rampant, who knows how damaging and devastating this virus could be to my body. It has been very anxiety inducing. And so to have a vaccine has been an incredible sigh of relief. Of Jenny's decision to receive the vaccine, she says, It wasn't even a decision for me. It was like nothing. It wasn't, I didn't have to even think about it, you know. But the battle isn't over just yet. Jenny and her family are still waiting for others to get the vaccine as well before their lives can return to a level of normalcy. As more and more people receive the vaccine, uh, we will start to enter like a more normal phase of life. But it was nice to see that vulnerable people have been prioritized in our state. And this is only the middle of the story. We've come so far, but we still have a long ways to go. And Jenny, among so many others, is anxious and excited for everyone to receive their vaccines. Reporting live for Newsline in Utah County, I'm Sierra Sasaga. Thanks, Sierra.